Hi guys, it's Marie here. Welcome back to my channel. This channel is about bags, lifestyle and fashion, but mostly bags. I post videos every Friday, sometimes Monday and Wednesday. I'm always on a hunt for the perfect bag if you're like me. Subscribe, hit the notification bell, and let's enjoy bags together. Today we are in Edinburgh and it means that I'm doing the luxury fashion vlog. We will start with the Louis Vuitton and the Mulberry. I want to check out their new bags and after that we're heading to the Harvey Nichols. I'm after some basket bags at Loewe and Celine and also I want to check in new bags from Saint Laurent and Alaya and Gucci. Let's start! We are in Louis Vuitton to begin and I just want to show you what I'm wearing today. So I'm an orchid from head to toes. So it's an orchid, well, wide leg trousers, orchid coat, my favorite one, the check one, some little stripes there, long sleeve and my vintage little beauty. <laughs> one of the first outing, big outings for my little vintage lady. So yeah, let's have a look what we have here look at this new spring colors really gentle yellow i really like this yellow shade like a pop of color wow that's that's better that's the probably a more realistic representation of the colors never full never out of fashion My new styles oh alma bb how cute is this one? I'm going to try this one on. That one, the cutest little beauty. Perfect, just perfect. Twist log one. And what else do I have here? That coat is gorgeous, guys. This coat, this sleeveless coat is absolutely gorgeous. And look at that, so soft as well. Wow. And this pink, oh, the pastel colors are just amazing and it's a lot of them here in the shop. Just look how gorgeous this green khaki color against the monogram canvas. I really like this combination. And I really like how it looks against the check coat as well. A little bit of pop of color, but in a kind of like a too much, but at the same time classic way, you know what I mean? It's like so much going on here with the feet and the gold hardware and the different colors and the monogram but at the same time I really like that one I know I know I know I said that it's 
I'm not after the loud luxury anymore, but that me introducing myself again. Every single time when I see Bois Chapeau in all different sizes in shop or you know like in the other people's videos I regret selling mine because how cute it is. So cute and nice and classic. We are in Malbury now and I'm checking out the new bags. That's the new Lana collection and the new Lana bag. Have a look in this beautiful postman log, but it's like a new vision of the postman log. Salvador Dali style, Picasso style postman log. I really like this new vision of the postman log in the different colors. We have Lana with a top handle. Oh, that looks so classy, just gorgeous. And a shoulder strap version. And then we have a new bags too. It's a clovely. I absolutely love this burgundy color. And I, guys, I swear, I tried this clovely before and it's a, one of the most comfortable Tote bags. What do you think guys about this new one? Soft base water, it comes in a few colors and also a few sizes. That's a kind of like a medium one. And then we have the bigger version, the perfect weekend bag, isn't it? I absolutely love this color. Neutral, but at the same time, very unusual, not your regular black and white. I would describe that as a khaki or olive green it's called linen green by mulberry and it's gorgeous i absolutely adore those steady long shoulder straps easily goes on your shoulder even if you wear the big coat sitting there really comfortably i think it's like a perfect alternative for the Hermes Birkin, you know, the shoulder Birkin that Hermes reintroduced for their autumn 2024. <laughs> and it's obviously the price difference is going to be unbelievable, yes, but I think they are very similar. And it's just the way I like those straps hanging down as well. 
they're not on your way there is like not too long but just perfect Oof. I'm in love absolutely in love with that little beauty here and that's the bigger version against me it's quite heavy I'm not going to lie but it's quite expected because it's made of the you can see it, the grain leather the pebble leather so it is very durable you know and resistant to any scratches and marks however it, it is expected that it's going to be quite heavy as well I'm a little bit struggling I'm not going to lie so probably the other smaller size is perfect for me but you can easily use that bag as a travel bag it could fit tons if as you can see and then this one is same soft base water guys it's called and in the bigger size in a navy color it's a really elegant navy not in your face not the same one that we just seen in Louis Vuitton but like a little bit on the brighter side that one is a very settled subtle navy and I actually do prefer this navy rather than Louis Vuitton one because this one is more neutral and kind of like a more universal and versatile goes pretty much with everything And now we are in Celine, <laughs> looking after the basket bags. I already can see that I don't have any basket bags just now for me to check them out. But they have a few canvas bags here as well. So I'm going to show the, them closely and obviously the Triumph and stuff like that. So we will start with this teeny weeny cutie. Oh my God, how cute it is. Guys, it's unbelievable. Oh, I love it. I love it. I'm going to check out if it has if it has a um, adjustable and removable strap, but it's just incredible. I love it. I love how tiny it, this vanity bag is. I love it. It's just... <laughs> okay, give me a few minutes. I'm going to check if it has any... It's like a tiny bag energy, you know, it's like just incredible. Wow. Okay, I'm going to check out if it has adjustable and removable strap and it's probably we might end it up together, but we'll see. We will see. By the look of it, it does not have a removable strap. Me, you're going back on my little beauty and we're looking into those camera bags from the Triumph collection. And let's move here to the Celine 16. Oh, this satinite leather, this soft, incredibly beautiful leather. And the other versions of the 16. And this mini one, absolutely tiny. And then we have a Triumphs. And Ava, made of Celine monogram canvas that one is made of felt yeah or oh, i did have a bad experience with a chloe felt bag woody bag and after that i'm not even looking at that direction hmm, that looks gorgeous that looks beautiful we're going to try this on in a minute harry nichols uh, running some promotion this weekend so we're going to see those tags a lot about the rewards and the promotions and which brands does not participate Oof, that one is gorgeous I love the brown color and I love this little padlock as well 
cool. I'm going to try them all out just now. That's what it looks like. Quite heavy, not going to lie, no, quite heavy for me. And a little bit too big, I would say. This one is much better. Much better. Let's have a look. Not bad. Sits pretty comfortably. Really soft. Like slouchy. And nice. And I love the color. Celine does this beautiful brown gold tan color. Moving on to Loewe, we have a new version of puzzle in the mini size and in a small size. I do prefer the older version of puzzle. And then we have flamingo. This one is an old flamingo without the chain. Then the puzzle folded one, the bigger flamingo. More puzzle, regular puzzle. And then the folded puzzle tote bag. That's the regular medium size. It's actually really, really light. It does remind the Mulberry Cloverly bag that we just tried on. And obviously the price difference between them. Actually not that much nowadays, you know, but that has a beautiful design, really simple tote bag with that unique idea that you can fold that. Please let me know if you want me to do a little review on this beauty because I'm quite interested in doing that review. Now we're moving to the main event, a basket bags. Here we have all three sizes of the famous Loewe basket bag. Yeah. How huge is that one? I'm going to demonstrate that against myself. That's how big it is. But when you go to the beach, you pretty much have everything. You won't miss out on anything, guys. Like, absolutely incredible. And then the medium size as well. Let's, have, let's check that against me. That's the classic one. We have also those versions made of raffia. All different. They are really good by sticking out what they know best. They've got the best sellers in this basket department. So now they are going different versions. And this one too. I'm going to get the straps out so I can try that on for you. And that's what it looks like. Cute. Nice and cute. And I really like those leather straps. You know, just to make your bag more secure and more basket bags and the other colors. Like seriously guys, I do not understand that. How long if you can get away with that sort of quality, you know? Can you see what I'm talking about? And I've seen the same thing on the Celine bags, Celine basket bags as well. Maybe something I don't understand about the production of those bags and it's a kind of unavoidable thing, but nah, I just, I don't, I don't like that. And some of them have it more than others. For this particular reason, probably this version of Loewe basket bags 
would be I would prefer that more yeah I'm not going to lie because see how neat and tidy it's done we don't see any wavy lines or <laughs> stitching just neat and tidy how the luxury bag is supposed to be yes yes that's that's my opinion they have the same one it's um, in the bigger size and also with a brown tan leather trimming and uh, loewe monogramming here i do like i really like this basket bag it's more steady more structured more reliable i would say Could miss uh, this section. <laughs> a gold sparkling shiny and tiny. Look at that. Wow. Golden disco ball. Wow. And a black version of it and the silver hardware. And more sequins. Wow. That one with a true sequins as well gorgeous gorgeous moving to alaya and here we have a famous heart curl bags and their new latekel bag this one is a small size that one is a bigger size i'm going to both try them out right now and a hard bag with the studs. It's gorgeous. I, I really like that. And all versions of the signature Alaya perforated bags in different sizes. I think they're going to be really big this summer. Unfortunately, it's not all season bag here in Scotland, but perfect, perfect for the summer bag. So that one is a small. <laughs> Am I saying that? Is it a bit too small? What do you think? I know I'm a mini bag lady. The smaller the better, but no, I don't know. I'm going to check if I actually can fit my phone inside there. I don't think I can. <laughs> okay, and let's see the bigger size. So that one is a regular size of the same bag. And again, we see that longer shoulder straps. I genuinely believe, guys, this summer and autumn, those longer shoulder straps are going to be everywhere and we're going to see them pretty much at every single designer. Starting with the Hermes and their shoulder uh, Birkin. We are moving to Saint Laurent. Here we have another version of La Saint Cassette. I said what I think about the Saint Laurent is milking La Saint Cassette collection as much as they could. I do not support that. Please, Saint Laurent, just stop. Stop. Bring just new styles. Stop making the same bag the, from, out of the same collection of the same design. Our traditional Lulu. Absolute classic now. Saint Laurent toad bags. More Lulus in the puffer version. Van suede one is gorgeous. Wow. That one you haven't seen before. I really like this one. Somehow it reminds me the raw Margot toad bag. It has the same vibe. I'm definitely going to try that is just in a second. Sadie in the small size, beautiful papillion shape, barrel shape bag. 
and a classic Lasanka set. And the mini Lasanka set and patent. I really like this double zipper, like a mesh shaped. One is a longer one and one is a shorter one. Really elegant. And the fitsies. <laughs> Look at that. Big bags are coming back. And somehow I do have a soft spot for the bigger bags. Now you know my new small Jody from Bottega Veneta. That one has a completely different vibe, but I kind of like it. I'm going to try this on in a second and then more Lasanka sets, souple versions, but this suede, oh, it's gorgeous. I really like this brown and uh, khaki olive green. Again, see, very popular colors this season coming spring summer and i think they will be, remain really popular until autumn as well me in a bigger bags i kind of got a feeling that this shopping log i was trying more bigger bags rather than mini bags what do you think about that guys <laughs> am i converting am i converting in a big bag lady The leather for this bag is absolutely incredible, so soft. And it's just, oh, it's like one of those things that you don't want to leave your hand, your side. And we're finishing up with uh, Chloe versions of the basket bags. I think I'm going to do the review on the best basket bags. Like, I totally, totally going to do that. We have a little a leather plaque here, the saying that every single basket bag by Chloe is woven by hand. And I really like also that bottom, leather bottom with a Chloe embossing. Nice and sturdy. And although it's made by hand, we don't see much misalignment. You know, like we've seen that with a Loewe bag. And that kind of off-white, pinky, gray combination here. And the woody toads in the basket version as well. And the classic one with a brown trimming. And now shopping log is coming to the end. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to see any Celine basket bags. One of the main goals for today was to compare the Loewe basket bag to the Celine basket bag. Just, you know, I kind of got a feeling that they are quite similar, but I haven't seen the Celine basket bag in real life yet. So I want to see them compare and make my final decision. I do have my favorites in the run for the best basket bag and yes i did promise to you to make a video about the five best basket bags as well so stay tuned and that's me for today guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you did you know where to find thumbs up subscribe button notification bell and i'll see you next time bye